Hello everyone, welcome to dinner at Bardo Brasserie in the Cosmopolitan Las Vegas. And we're starting here with the wine list provided on a tablet. The list of selections by the glass is actually quite impressive, but we're also scrolling through the full bottles here. And there are some north of $1,000 selections, but the list is quite comprehensive in its coverage of French wines. And you receive a little mini baguette to start, which is decent, about what you'd expect. Super crispy and hard on both the outside and in. Served with what looks like fresh butter. Just a little too hard for my taste, the loaf was. And I ordered a real treat, a glass of Veuve Clicquot Blue Rosé from Champagne. It was bready, acidic, but it had a real strawberry grape soda-ish vibe. The bouquet was almost similar to like a lambic beer, like a Landemain Framboise after a bit in the glass. It tasted and smelled of like a highly fermented dry cider, very elegant and complex with those luxurious bubbles. And this place is indeed very Parisian, but also extremely noisy and lively, almost like a TGI Fridays or something. But that doesn't detract from the food. Speaking of which, I started with the escargot en croute, which is basically a snail pot pie, somewhat like the lobster pot pie that the same chef, Michael Mina, serves at his Bellagio restaurant, but this one features absinthe butter and Paris mushrooms and of course snails. The salad was very fresh and a highly acidic and bitter contrast that really enhanced the dish and paired well with the champagne. And beneath that crust you find almost truffly mushrooms that add real earthiness to the escargot. It was quite garlicky with large chunks of garlic and the pastry topping was more waffly than frankly I would have expected. In the end, I thought it was pretty good, certainly adventurous and something that you'd expect in Las Vegas where you go to experience something not so pedestrian that you could find in your own city. And this is unique. And here's a beautiful piece of escargot with a chunk of pastry glistening with garlicky, buttery, absinthe glory. Now to pair with the steak frites, I selected a left bank Bordeaux wine from Saint Estef called Saint de Pay. I love left bank Bordeaux. The Saint Estef can be less flavorful, but this one was really quite powerful. Smoky without being too oak driven, but I decided to sip the remainder of my champagne as I awaited the main course, which was a flat iron steak with fries. I ordered mine à pointe or medium rare au poivre with the pepper sauce on the side. The steak was beautifully seared. I'm glad the sauce was on the side. It was okay, but not as amazing as you'd find in Europe. The steak was almost burned on the outside, but you certainly can't criticize it as a bad sear. The uh, wine pairing was absolutely perfect, so I'll pat myself on the back for that. The pillowy fries were super crispy on the uh, outside and buttery soft on the inside. The mayonnaise or sauce frite on the side wasn't that special, but it was serviceable. The steak may have been slightly undercooked as you can see on the inside but it was perfectly seasoned obviously super high heat involved in preparing it which left it blackened on the outside and possibly more rare than medium rare on the inside the obligatory post meal cappuccino was very frothy and the espresso underneath had a deep roasted flavor and for dessert i had the uh, millefeuille and I'm far from a connoisseur of this traditional French dessert, but I can say that the multiple layers of caramelization really elevated the pastry. The cream was just the right level of sweetness and richness. The berry compote was actually a bit aggressive, almost like a cherry cough syrup at times, or a drunken maraschino cherry gastrique. But overall, this is a beautifully simple dessert uplifted by some special elements that I really, really enjoyed. Again, thanks for joining me for this amazing dinner. I'll let you enjoy the ambiance as we walk out of this uh, very busy restaurant on a Friday evening. So in summary, this was my first COVID 
or post-COVID Vegas dinner, and I think I'd come back, and you should too. See you in Vegas. Get vaccinated. March W13 out.